Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I was filming in my wig closet today and I thought to myself, we haven't played the guessing game in a while. I know how much you all love to look back here and kind of guess what wig styles are on the heads in the back. So we're gonna take one today at random and we're gonna try it on and talk about it. Coming up. So I just got done wrapping up a review on this beauty that I'm wearing here. And this one has also been sitting back here in the audience for quite some time, probably a couple of months. <laughs> I know you've all asked me about it from time to time. Um, now this one here is the Beltress Cafe Chic in Butterbeer Blonde. And it, like I said, it's been sitting back here waiting to be reviewed because I had a lot of new styles come in that took priority over this one. Um, this one has been around with Beltrass now for a couple of years. It's a part of the Cafe Collection. They're all heat friendly. And uh, this one is a, a short, kind of blunt cut, straight pressed, modern bob. So when I'm looking back at my wigs right now through the, the viewfinder here on the iPad, I am looking and I am noticing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of how many? Out of 12, seven out of the 12, over half of these wigs back here are Beltra styles. <laughs> and that's on purpose just because a lot of times when you see the wigs in on my heads back here, they're either waiting to be reviewed or I've brought them out to do a comparison and that's exactly what's going on here. So let's try one of them on. Let's try on a Beltrest style. I'm looking back there and I'm seeing one that kind of jumps out at me just because it's a different color than most of the rest of them are blonde. Let's try this one on, this E. I have reviewed this one before. I think it was last year. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. The cut, the color. I love it so much. Do not get a chance to wear it very often. Um, and it's a lot of hair. So let's try her on. I feel like a lion <laughs> in all of this hair. This beautiful mane of shattered waves, textured waves. Any guesses so far? I have I have not worn it in a while. It's been in the box, so I'm trying to just make an adjustment here to keep it out of the face, but present it. Okay, this one is Rose Ella <laughs> by Beltress in the color Mocha with Cream. Isn't it gorgeous? I think I had that piece over here. The waves just make this style. This is true trademark Beltress shattered wave, textured wave. Nobody does this kind of a texture like Beltress. So this color, now I have owned this color before on other styles and this one seems to have more red in it. So it's described as being, and I'm gonna go from memory here, it's described as being a more of a medium to dark chocolate brown and then it has some cinnamon in it, um, and then some some cream, like a, like a light gold blonde. So you're gonna see a lot going on here. I think it's a really spicy mix. I think it does lean the on the warm side. Uh, it just reminds me of a, a medium to light, warm brunette. That root is nearly black. Now it does transition very well into the color and it adds a lot of dimension 
to this color, but that's been, I think, the main complaint of this color is that uh, the root is so dark. Um, it has a lace front and a left amount of filament side part. And on this one, I think that the knots are fairly fine, but they are dark. I think they're starting to uh, consider bringing the highlight right up to the lace front, which I think softens the root quite a bit. And on their newer color, that's a brunette called, um, okay, give me a minute. It's Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. That one, they bring the highlight right up to that lace front. Um, so it's a similar color to this. It's not as warm. That one is more ash and tone. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Now, when I wear this one, I always take clips with me. I've got them everywhere in my purse. I have some in the car. Um, but I'll just do like a little loose pony. Um, it just, it's just beautiful for updos, but nothing too fancy. I'll also kind of just twist it into a low, like a little bun and put it up. We have to watch though, because there's so much hair on this style and I don't have a weight measurement to share with you um, on it. And if I can find it, I'll put it up. But there's so much hair to this style that if you do wanna do a, a really tight updo where you're bringing all the hair back and up, you're probably gonna have to use some sort of adhesive or something to give some extra hold because the weight of the hair all pulled back will kind of pull at the will pull at the wig. So I don't know what your experience has been, um, but I would say most Beltress styles run average to average large. That's just kind of the easiest measurement. Now I am able to pull in the adjusters as far as they can go and um, get a secure fit. But if you're true petite, like 21 inches, it's difficult to get a secure adjustment. Uh, you may have to consider using a wig grip or something. In fact, Beltrust actually put this in one of my uh, shipments. And this is the Perfect Lace Grip by Beltrust. You can see it comes in the black, the, um, the mocha, the cream, and the chrome. Okay. This particular one is in the cream. I tend to order a lot of blondes. So let's take a look. So this is right out of the package. Okay. So the first thing I'm remarking on is how soft. It's very satiny, a nice satiny finish. So you'll notice right away that it has a little bit of lace. And that just gives you this invisible look right there where you part it and right there at the front hairline. So people wear wig grips for a variety of reasons. I think that when you're first starting out with wigs, and I did this as well, I would wear a wig grip just because I liked the additional security. Um, I liked feeling something really tight against my head. It just felt more secure to me. Nowadays, I don't wear anything to secure my wigs. Um, it wasn't long after that. I just like the feeling of the wig right next to my scalp. I keep my hair super short, as you know. And if anything goes wrong with that wig, if it's riding back or something's not right, I know it just because I go by feel. And that will come with experience. So let's take a look. Oh, okay. Wow, I have not seen one quite like that. Look how long that Velcro is. The ones I used to wear had a little bit of Velcro here and a little bit of Velcro on the bottom and there wasn't much of an adjustment space. But this particular one has a large option for adjustments. So what you would do is line that up right along where your lace front is gonna be, stretch it around just above the ear exactly where the cap is going to rest and then secure the Velcro. Okay, now I understand that this is not ideal. I would probably, I know, I gotta wear it on the inside, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's, it feels really good. It's super soft, it molds to the head. It's got a nice look from, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on with this style just so you can see what it looks like. So a great reason to wear these too, if you've got a little bit of a petite or petite average circumference, the band going around will increase that circumference by just a little bit and that will make all of the difference. Let me go ahead and try it on. All 
Okay, so that is interesting. The feeling of a wig grip. I personally don't like the feeling of a wig grip. It's very comfortable, don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, I just don't care for it because I, I don't have the feeling of the wig right next to my skin, which is what I am used to. Um, but it does feel like the wig fits a little bit better. It's a little more secure, like it's just not going anywhere. I mean, that's the purpose of the wig grip. And let's see. It doesn't interfere with the parting or the lace. Yeah, it just feels, it feels super secure. It feels like I could go out and do cartwheels right now and this wig would not fly off. Isn't that great? So yeah, that is the Beltress wig grip, which is super nice. It's got a luxury feel to it. It comes in lots of different colors. So far as I know, just one size. So that's just been some random chat here from my wig closet. Plus we got to try on a wig and see it in action. Now I feel like I could put this up in an updo right now or a pony or any kind of low bun and probably get away with it. Let's see here. See, it doesn't feel like it's tugging because of that wig grip. It's just gripping onto the wig grip instead of tugging at the, the wig. Isn't it just cute in a, just a messy updo or a messy pony or bun? It's just absolutely gorgeous. I would have one of these in every color if I could. So thanks a lot, guys, for joining me for a little bit of chat and a guessing game on this wig style. I hope you all have an amazing day. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.